Hey, my name is Maurice Jager, and for those that do not know me, I am a portrait and headshot photographer who shoots out of his studio predominantly and go on location. And today I want to talk to you about something that I think is really, really cool and that I never imagined that I could use as a portrait photographer, which is the BenQ TK800M projector. So that was some nice b-roll of the BenQ TK800M projector and full disclosure I am a BenQ global ambassador so this projector was sent to me but that doesn't mean that my opinion uh, is going to be affected by that because I only ask for stuff that I really really need and I need this for a couple of reasons. But before we go into that, let's talk about this projector and what it can do. So it is geared as a home entertainment system projector. So you can put this in your house and like watch some cool movies because it has different modes. It has like cinema mode and football mo mode and sports mode and it'll adapt the screen accordingly. So you'll get the most quality out of your projector for whatever you're watching. Um, it's 4K UHD, so it's ultra high definition, which is like, mm, everybody needs that in their lives. And it has two HDMI inputs. One is HDMI 2.2 and one is HDMI 1.4. It has a USB port on the back. Uh, it has an audio in and audio out, so you can attach all uh, the stuff that you have in your house already to this projector and last but not least it supports HDR which is high definition range or high something HDR is awesome because you get so much depth out of your stuff and it, it's it's also HLG which is hybra, hybrid gamma lock and hybrid gamma lock means that even if your footage is low definition you can still get some really nice punch out of this projector um, I have this in my studio stuck to the ceiling um, it's about 3.5 meters away from my savage seamless backdrop um, it's about 11 feet ish if you're into the imperial system and my seamless is 2.7 meters or 9 feet almost and I get a nice little projection of like the full width of my seamless and about six feet high or like uh, 140 centimeters for those in the metric system. And what I do with this, like I love the fact that it has the USB port on the back and the HDB ports because I attached a Google Chromecast to it and it powers from the USB, it inputs to the HDMI and I can stream pretty much everything to the projector in my studio including the backdrop that you're seeing right now because that's not an actual canvas backdrop that is uh, a canvas backdrop image that I have on my computer uh, going through the projector projected on my Savage uh, Seamless Paper Super White um, so it's like really really cool and because of the canvas being super tack sharp and the depth of field from the camera it looks natural so that's cool and we can change the backdrops like in a moment's notice which we will do in a second to just give you a little bit of an idea about the possibilities that you have uh, with working with a projector in your studio and if you wonder like like sticking it to the ceiling is that thing like super heavy no, it's not. It's 4.2 kilograms or a little under 9 pounds. So any bracket and there's like an, uh, an option to get a bracket from BenQ. I, uh, I used a bracket just like 
a generic bracket and stuck it to the ceiling projecting it overhead you don't see anything I can work with this perfectly fine and it just projects it to the screen so let's change a couple of backdrops or background colors or different things on my seamless and see how it looks alright stay with me be right back with a different color so how is this for accentuating your back my 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 features because of that like bright pink ish background situation that I got like it is still a the same seamless I just changed the settings in my Google Chrome which you can use to stream a tab to my Chromecast and I just have a plain pink image in my Google tab and it's now on my seamless backdrop how cool is that so if you're not into pink let's change it to something else and see how that looks all right I'll be back now we're on blue blue is cool blue looks pretty cool blue is nice don't feel blue we could go pink we can go blue we can go green we can go red we can go canvas we can go cityscape let's go cityscape because cityscape is I don't know you can put people in different world I don't necessarily shoot this but we have the opportunity so why not let's do it let's go to New York so I made it into I just time travel no I didn't time travel I traveled I travel like crazy it's like I just went someplace else this is supposed to be the Empire State Building um, and it looks sort of natural it looks better than a green screen I think because there's no like cutoffs and stuff and you can turn this puppy green and use it as a green screen if you're into the green screen kind of uh, operation um, so like for me this is cool because I do not have to purchase like a gazillion different backdrops and still give my clients like a ton of options um, with background colors and brighter darker uh, texture or no texture or whatever and for my workshops I have like the coolest thing to present my slides when I have a couple of people in my studio where I talk about my personal branding for photographers or talk about photography in general I want to like throw up some images on the screen and this is like it's all 4k like that's wow it's like 4k like 9 by 5 inches so you have a lot of leeway to work with this um, so this is uh, like my thoughts on the BenQ TK 800M projector which I really 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 enjoy I thought that point came across already but let me just accentuate it a little more um, if you wanna grab one um, I'll put links underneath this video uh, so to make your life easy and let me know what you think like do you want to use this do you see value in this um, give me your feedback love to hear from you and I'll talk to you soon on the next video bye yeah I don't want to bore you how I rock need for speed so thank you for watching outro